What's going on everybody in YouTube, Facebook, or wherever you are? I'm Jay Cook. Matt now. And we're back at it again. Matt, what are we doing today? Uh, we'll be finished getting the rest of our trunk pan out, uh, what's left of it. Um, get our brace out, go all the way up to the front where it's uh, actually kind of solid. And clean up the bottom of our wheel tubs. Then Jay and I are going to pull the steering column out. And then we're going to come up and prep the front of the, all the engine bay. We're going to take the battery tray out. We're going to go through and knock all the rust down and prep it for paint. This is one area we want to actually look good on the car. None of this makes sense, I know. But it'll be pretty under the hood. Yes. It'll make us feel better. This is, this is what we want. We want the engine bay to look good, and we want the interior to be decent. The exterior of the car, like we've said all along, we don't care about. Hello there. You may be wondering what I do in my free time. A lot of it's involved with camping, walks on the lake side, and I do it all in my Dodge Trans van. I can't believe you took this on, man. It's okay, a job. but really, I, I don't know how I end up in, with this stuff. Uh, this God. Is, this is a Dodge Trans van. This is a one-ton chassis. I think it's a 78, 77, something like that. Um, it needs dry shaft work, so. Will it come out? I don't know yet. Let's show them the inside. Oh, yeah. You guys got to get the full experience yeah. of the Trans van. Where so people, you, this is where people know, go missing. You know your home when you have a porch light. <laughs> And if you didn't know, there it is again. All right. Oh Look my at this gosh. This Love that on. stained glass. Wow. How many meals were cooked in here? Probably none. I'm scared to go in. Oh my gosh. This is really narrow. Right, I'll see you later. <laughs> you trapped me in here. Wow. How many movies were shot in here? Ah, oh, dude, I don't know. Got the steering column removed and just been removing a bunch of other stuff in here. And Matt has been working on the trunk pan. Getting a bunch of stuff removed with that. How's it going under there? Oh man, it's going not fun. This one bolt on this brake, uh, master cylinder bracket, booster, whatever, it is not wanting to come out. It's either about to break or it's gonna come off. And you can only turn it so much. One of those deals. But other than that, it's going great. <laughs> Besides that and the dirt hitting my eyes. This car, never. Yeah, I know, on this car? At least you got a nice pad to lay on. That's right. Pretty cleaned up. Well, it's the same video, a new day, as you see what Matt did in the trunk, all the wonders and greatness he did in the back is looking really good. Um, I've been up here working, as you can see, I've got the firewall primer to looking really good, not too bad. It was all mainly covered in this black paint that somebody else has painted before. So we're wanting to paint the, the uh, engine bay, the original color of this car. So what I've been doing to remove all that black paint is taking some O'Reilly's brake cleaner and I'll spray it on here. A little bit on there at a time, let it sit for a few moments. It's just chemically removing it. You can see right here a little bit. Let me turn the light on maybe. There it goes. You can see where it's starting to bubble up. So what you do is you take one of your buddy's favorite shirts and you just wipe it right off, just like that. So that's what I've been doing. I'm gonna finish up this little corner right here and get some more right here, and all this will be ready, for, and scuff it, and then all this right here will be ready for prime. That's Matt fine. had to bust out his uh, trusty impact screwdriver so we can get those battery tray bolts the rest of the way out. Wow, look yeah, at that. Yeah, more work for you. Yeah, more work for me. Uh, some rust encapsulator. We'll fix that right up. Got this area looking pretty good. Look at that. About five minutes worth of work. Spraying a little bit of brake cleaner, let it soak, and then just wipe it off. I just gotta do this down here. Boom, yeah. all done. Now I can take Matt's shirt and put it back in his laundry. He won't even know. That's right. Oh, hey Matt. 
Well, I successfully used the old death wire wheel and cleaned up all that and a bunch of other places all along the front here. It's ready for some rust encapsulator. All right, so what we got here is a little bit of decoding on the VIN and trying to figure out where the numbers are in this car. We have these numbers stamped in the core support and the one back on the uh, trunk lip that you saw. Those numbers match. Uh, not surprisingly, it's just the car's never had parts put on it other than the, what was there from the factory. The dash VIN is stating in that this is a 68 Dodge Charger with a 383 two barrel. And that's about all we can really tell because we're missing the fender tag, which would have been right here, which would have given us option codes and things like that. Um, we know this was an AC car. And you look at the dashboard and it's got the extra hole, or the dashboard, excuse me, the firewall, and it's got extra holes in there, plus we tore the box out of it. Um, this car, it was a white interior car with a console, automatic transmission. Uh, we know that because all that was still originally in the car. Uh, other than that, we don't have a build sheet, so we can't really know exactly what this car was brand new or born with. So. Luckily for us, we don't care about any of that. We just want a fun <laughs> hot rod. Yep, that's so all we care. That's probably about as far as our number trail is going to go on this car. Um, we'll look for a build sheet. We still have the original seats out of it. If it's legible or any kind of, you know, not torn to pieces, uh, we'll show it to you. We'll figure out what we can about it. But honestly, no, that's really important at this point. No. All right, so back here in the trunk. Wanted to show a few spots I'm going to repair. Just had some old scrap metal laying around. Actually, I cut it out of this car. As you can see, I cut out right there. Looked a lot worse than that one. New piece. Fit it on there. Tab for the rear cross member. That'll be fixed. And over here, there's another rust hole, which still got to clean it up. But let's see. About like that. So, while I'm in the trunk of this Charger, I thought I'd take a minute and uh, just point out a little bit of resourcefulness. So, if you get into doing stuff like this and you have the time and not the money, this definitely will help you. Well, I'm coming in here and replacing little bits and pieces of metal. Instead of buying a, a whole part, be resourceful. These are brackets that were in the old trunk pan and they were for the spare tire. And... They're actually pretty thick and in good shape. So there you go. Patch pieces are done. Went back up here, replaced the side of that rail lip because I cut it off with the grinding wheel. Now it is time. And there you have it. Prepped, drying, and ready for metal install. Well, so here's a up close look of the box and how the tube's gonna fit in there. Comes up to our plate. In position, simple, and made out of a bunch of scrap parts. Cool. All right, frame connectors are in permanently. It's gonna be kind of hard to rip these out. Both sides, done and done. All right, chargers back down on the ground. Got my frame rails sitting on jack stands. The back is supported by this piece of tubing. Bubble says it's in the middle. Start putting some metal in. After a short commercial break with some customer cars, the charger's back on the lift. So, start
starting to put in the rear cross member. Continuing on with the trunk pan, got it fit pretty well. I had to make these little tabs to help line everything up. Um, it's lining up pretty well. So I'm gonna come under here and mark my frame rails out and it's running low on paint markers. So let's try old Ford blue engine paint. All right, the paint actually worked pretty good. Clearly can see the lines. And now the fun starts of getting all those little holes ready. Right now I'm working on taking the grill out of the car and I'm down to the last bolt, but I'm having to heat it. It is frozen. Well, buddy John's back today helping us out doing some Rear trunk pan extensions and lower corner help. Yummy. Got the whole front of the radiator support uh, rust encapsulated. Now I'm gonna work on the engine bay. Got John back here welding in the trunk extensions. Looking good, John. Looking very professional. I don't know about that. We'll see. <laughs> Better than what it was, there was nothing there. <laughs> Well, there you all go. There's another video down. Matt did a lot of work in this video, a lot more than I did. Uh, but trunk pan's in. Uh, the front's ready to be primered and finished. We got to do a little bit in the front to get it finished primered. The engine bay to get it ready to be painted. And next time, I guess you'll see it, we'll be doing what? Lower quarters? Yeah, lower quarters tying it in. The trunk extensions are in. Uh, we got to patch up the wheel wells. And then I think we can start making some progress on the front actually making it look clean yeah yeah that'd be nice yeah because we're kind of getting tired of sanding rust yeah it's i'm getting, tired of the metal work already yeah it's kind of getting old that's i'm glad we're not doing the body because my oh, gosh Lord. that'd be a lot not this one yeah not this <laughs> car but anyway I, I we really appreciate you all you new subscribers and even our old subscribers we'll really appreciate you guys and if you haven't already please click that like button and subscribe button that really helps us grow but anyway, I guess that's it. We'll see y'all next time. Be good to one another and enjoy life while you have it.